when it comes to Dread and his universe, his universe is filled with supernatural or bigger creature type beings he has to fight. Because this is kind of set in the future. For some reason, this universe reminds me of Cyberpunk. To some. It's just so freakish, you know what I mean? And these are the type of villains you might come across if you were living in this universe. Can you imagine a judge, jury, and executioner type character that is good enough fighting skills wise even while he's kind of bounded or one could say cuffed he still can put in that word who's not afraid to use police officer type weapons like the day stick someone who's not afraid to use a lasso like wonder woman a judge that will shoot through hostages to get a target so holding someone hostage will not protect you from getting shot or he's not afraid to shoot down beings like dracula and bat form but that's none of my business before we get started so what if i told you there was a guy that was the judge jury and the executioner you would be ready to run wouldn't you and no i'm not talking about the punisher i'm talking about judge dread you've probably seen him in a live action movie i've seen it at least once but it's been a while but he is the law but how strong are we talking and how is the standard gear in this universe and tech judge dread is the clone of a guy that goes by the name of fargo this world takes place a little bit in the future compared to our reality he's one of those characters that trained in martial arts for 15 years or so agile fighter when you look into his history there's actually plenty of proof of his acrobats when it comes to his history as seen here and here too many occasions of it you're probably wondering how did they learn how to fight well there was actually a judge academy that teach you the bases on combat and stuff of that such they got training started at five years old 15 years of training no excuse to be a scrub He's got skills with all kinds of weapons. He has a really good aim and he can hit moving target. Not afraid to use sniper rifles. Not afraid of using both hands if he needs to switch it up or two. Has skills when it comes to disguising himself when he has to. Judges have implants that help them be able to talk any language basically. When it comes to the art of hand-to-hand -hand combat, he's actually older than what he looks. He has decelerated aging so he has a lot more combat experience than you would expect. He has better senses than normal, being able to fight people in pinch darkness if he has to. Now, when it comes to standard gear, it's only natural that he's geared up. Like, his boots can automatically magnetize themselves to assimilate gravity, can use his boots to kind of manipulate gravity to where he can technically kind of fly, one could say. He has incendiary rounds to where you just turn into ashes. He's used more than his gun right here. Primary weapon is the, the lawgiver. If you want to know about the specs of his gun, you can see it right here it's a lot of different aspects to it you know one can say it's an all-in-one purpose gun has all you will need in it and he has like a mobile motorcycle his helmet is pretty cool it contains all kinds of stuff as you can see right here filter head padding oxygen container pull down respirator headphones everything you need due to having that comic force he has a lot of stuff that don't make sense when it comes to strength like lifting beings one-handed holding seven citizens for a brief period of time with his physicals catching falling man and his child with one arm he's not afraid of using christmas trees as weapons and impale you with it men that are much larger than him it doesn't matter rips the sink out of a wall even if you're real fat, he doesn't mind picking you up still. Sabertooth Cat tackled him. He ripped out his fang. Even if you got a chain against him, he can react, catch it, and blitz you. No tongue for you. Demon, even in solid freaking ice, he can still pull the freaking trigger. Using only my elbow, your neck gets popped. Not afraid of tearing off Cyborg's head. If you're disturbing me, he doesn't care. If you're in the bath, he doesn't care. If you're on a horse, get off of it. Creatures that can bite straight through humans like nothing it is strong enough to hold open the jaws of this same creature that's bigger than average humans you by you can see. Just because something is strong enough to break concrete doesn't mean Judge Dredd can't overpower them anyway. What is he on some super soldier serum, metal chains? He can snap with his raw physical strength on more than one scenario he can rip out of chains these big pillars he has no problem collapsing there's one thing ripping out of metal chains but then when you're completely locked down you gotta flex out and you still can do it that's another thing holds up a car like this because he's that strong and it's got more than one person inside of it like four different people that strength is decent this guy is forever using people as a weapon to swing like a baseball bat. Knocked out this person by throwing it at another person. He can literally throw his badge at you because he's judge, jury, and executioner with lethal force in your head. What are you bullseye now? Using people as weapons. I'll beat a mother father with another mother father. That's basically what Judge Dredd likes to do with people or even giant rats he would do this. I will beat you up with a giant rat. Snuck up behind me. Get the heck off of me. Threw you that way. This dude forever hitting you with stuff like this vehicle he hits you with. I mean, we already know his physicals is decent, bending these bars with his legs, or kicking straight through this wall, or snapping this large beast's jaw with his legs, and the fact he absolutely loves kicking doors so many different pieces. He does it too many times. I mean, think about it. Most of the time when he goes for an arrest, 
somebody's door will end up getting kicked down. And we don't even want to get on his draw speed when it comes to a standoff. He can shoot fast because he can outshoot a team of professionals too fast. Outdraws these being several armed gangsters get absolutely curb stomped in a draw or shooting contest. I'm talking one man army type stuff. Teams of people he can shoot down before they even do anything. They get outdrawn even when he's the one supposedly held at gunpoint he's faster five people that had their guns trained on him he still can out shoot them with speed because his aim and accuracy is crazier he can shoot so fast it's even stated in narration that they can't even see his hand actually move he's fast enough to draw and fire his gun in under two milliseconds that's combat speed judge dread is constantly shown not to be able to be hit by bullets a good example will be here he can't get more obvious that he's dodging the bullets here because of reaction speed seriously how is he not getting hit at least once when they're targeting him like that fighting speed then shooting him back do I see him avoiding it here too? It's not the easiest to figure out since this is not actually animated, but there's several instances of him avoiding bullets right here and right here and getting away or evading them here implied to be able to do so here. If you still have your doubts about their fighting speed, it's aim dodging or is he actually dodging the bullets while they're mid-flight? Hopefully this dialogue will help. I saw the shot coming and shifted my arm away from it, not enough to avoid it entirely, but enough to turn a potentially deadly shot into a superficial wound. With further training, you'll learn the same techniques. Dodging bullets? You can't be serious. So it's implied all those feats I just listed were actual dodging stuff. Dodging bullet feet. For example, here he sidestepped a bullet. A bazooka, the trigger pulled already, still was able to avoid it. He has the accuracy to shoot the rocket out of the air fast enough to intercept missiles from close range. Blocks a beam with a mirror. He ducks out of the way of missiles. A maze full of death traps. He dances around all that BS. Catches toy darts. You better make your shots count because if you miss, he will blitz you right after your shot. The things he battles is crazy. Like this cyborg, for example, is strong enough to lift entire tanks. We're talking about a guy that had to take a grenade to the chest. When it comes to his strength, when it comes to him fighting other judge type people with crazy armor, he can punch through their armor at times. But then he has weapons that can shoot through armor or weapons that can severely damage cars. Explosive rounds can do major damage. Pretty decently sized concrete walkways he can shatter with his explosive rounds. Since he's a judge, jury, and executioner, he has access to nuclear launch codes. Technically, he has gear or can call upon nukes that can level cities. Look at the narration when that whole bunch of nukes are going off, like messing up the planet. Nuclear stuff and all that stuff aside, though. He's fast enough to dodge and shoot down a heat-seeking bullet with his fighting speed. He's physically strong enough to actually rip off robots' heads. And he's physically strong enough to open up the jaws of big things like this to help some civilians. He's for sure superhuman and I would say he can lift probably at least two to three tons at the very least. Maybe like a low tier super soldier tier if he was in Marvel. Hey, they have had crossovers with Judge Dredd fighting Batman, so it makes a little sense, right? He's not. A guy that only fights no-named fodder beings, he's not afraid of fighting other good fighters in his universe like other judges, for example. Just in case you're curious, he actually hates killing. He does strictly obey the law. He even holds back a lot, even in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Dread is no stranger to adversity, taking down some knights. Even goes as far as taking down this super assassin in this fight. Then we got this situation with this behemoth beast. You get to see all the different type of things Dread has to take on thanks to his gear and fighting battle IQ and etc. Goes a few rounds with this armor plated wrestling type of robot. He's one up against alien bounty hunter. Did this dude dread actually pull up to the devil aka Satan and uh rest the devil himself for all the crimes he's ever committed? Are you kidding me? This is freaking funny. Beings that can destroy decently sized statues with their striking power. Dread, of course. Another panel of him being able to fight these type of beings. In this particular occasion, he decided to use a combination of a few things like this metal pole. Jumping on top of this big thing to end it like this. I mean, let's face it. That was a massive spider, if I would say so myself. It's a very colorful universe. People with all different types of shapes and sizes, even huge people like this. He's had to battle and fight again without necessarily using his gun, just fist fights too. This muscle bound perp tried to pull up on Judge Dredd and uh, that ain't gonna work because he has superior fighting skills and IQ. I would like to mention that despite some of these beings being bigger than Judge, 
it doesn't really necessarily matter because his battle IQ is just so much better. It kind of makes up for what strength he does lack, and he has speed and agility and battle experience above him. I'm not going to lie. There's some opponents that's just on his level to where it's extremely high difficulty to where people debate on who actually won the fight or not. This guy was no joke. He should not be disrespected. But Judge Dredd got the privilege of being able to fight or have a chance to fight this guy again to restore his honor. I mean, a man got to handle his 1v1s when you say kick, punch, and everything put together. I don't even have to get on the live action stuff. It's not much of it, though. Gets blasted several feet and still okay. You can tell he's out of the ordinarily strong. Like how he pushes these guys' heads through the bars. Or simply breaking a radio in half. Simply putting your nose in your brain. Yikes. Cracking a wall by slamming somebody's head into it. Yeah, you see the engraving. Same with a stone pillar. Yes, there's a such thing as a judge death. He's even fought him and decapitated him. Can strike hard enough to break a cyborg's metal skull. Consecutively fighting beings that are extremely muscular. No pipe for you with his strength. Knocks them out with a head, but I'm about to show you a lot of times of judge dread knocking out people i mean think about it he punching people so hard they fly in the air that's not normal all kind of weird creatures in the universe he impales in it in the air beings like this he ain't got no problem hitting you through a wall he's one of those characters that got a whole bunch of different type of ammo types you're never safe did you know judge dread was this strong in this video i showed you how strong do you think he would be if he was in marvel do you think him fighting batman was accurate do you think that fight would actually go down like that if he really fought batman i'm interested to hear what you guys think but in this fantasy world all of this could be just me do you like his universe do you like his guns do you like his do you like the fact he has nuclear code that he can just launch out if he has to because he is the law despite him always holding back he will kill you and he doesn't like to kill and he holds back most of the time he will shoot through the hostage to get you but that's none of my business but before i get going i have to give a quick shout out to everybody that took the time to donate to the channel helps out a lot believe it or not respect judge dread i'm glad you are enjoying your time on the channel make sure you check out the playlist on the channel to see other house strong videos if you like what this channel is offering make sure you hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys later